mustache. Go, go, go. No. Go, grandma talk, right? Grandma has a mustache. That be fighting words, Zach. I didn't say yours. Oh, now you're pointing at me. <laughs> Listen. Uh, okay. We've, this is let's take let's two. Uh, take two. Let's be clear uh, or full honesty, full disclosure. This is not the first time we've tried recording this game for an update. No. The first time we recorded it was amazing. It was probably the greatest video we have ever done here at Game Fun. Yeah. So we all were crying at the end of the spectacularness, and we decided to delete it because uh, it's hard to top that. There's fireworks. Naked ladies and guys, two naked guys for women out there that want to see that. But don't, don't tell that. HR. Don't, don't tell, tell HR, HR about that. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff in the video. But, but we can do we can do one thing that we did exactly the same as in the last video. Yes, we can. Are you ready for it? Game front. Update. Game front. Update. Game front. Update. Yeah. I thought we were all gonna take our clothes off. <laughs> no, that wasn't the part. That was the last video. <laughs> that was the last. I thought that was video. the one thing we could keep from the last video. All right, uh, well, game front update time. How's everyone doing for the second time today? I'm asking. Uh, well, I'm doing pretty good. I'm actually uh, really excited to go through the things that we just talked about. I'm hoping that uh, that I can I can still have as much time talking as I did before. <laughs> Zach. I'm not gonna say much. That's not true. <laughs> you said a lot last yeah, time. Yeah, he, he actually. Yeah, you all missed out. He led the conversation the and last time. sang a song afterwards. Come on, Zach, sing it again. No, I, I can't. <laughs> Come on, Zach. No, no. All right, all right. So moving on. To moving on. List. Uh, you guys remember what was on the list, don't you? Uh, I know we talked about Halo Four. We talked about Halo Four. The, the walkthrough is done. The legendary walkthrough is done. Uh, Easter eggs, as far as I know, all the Easter eggs that are known right now are done. I don't really know what else to do about Halo 4. Well, there are knowns, and there are unknowns, and there are unknown unknowns. So we're still waiting on the unknown unknowns mm -hmm. before we make them known. Yeah. By making a video. I don't know what I'm referencing right now, but I feel like it was something political. Do you know what I'm talking about, you guys? I think it was the weapons of mass destruction. I don't remember. It's too many years ago. But yeah. somebody was t trying to justify, like, something. I, I don't want to get into it. Let's just move on. It's not anyway. from the first video. Uh, so, yeah, Halo 4, I, I talked a little bit about how much I liked it. I did like it a lot. I think it's the best Halo campaign so far. Um, I thought the multiplayer was really good. Are you still an employee of Bungie? Like... I'm not an employee of Bungie. That's not even on my resume. Stop making shit up. <laughs> I just have been hearing. I, I get. I get every day. It's there's a spiel of like how great Halo is. How I should get an Xbox. And well, you should get an Xbox because of Skyrim. That's because true. the Skyrim DLC always comes out, and because of the fact that you don't have an Xbox, I'm the one that has to play the Skyrim DLC. Also, doesn't all the Call of Duty stuff isn't it pretty much exclusive to I Xbox so, yeah. like for, for at least a month? I hope not. Probably. You're probably right. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, Sky with Skyrim, like, I liked Skyrim for a time. You know, when it came out, I was all into Skyrim. Eventually, after playing a hundred hours of it, it starts to wear on me. So then I have to do all the DLC, and I'm just like, ugh. Especially because this guy is so excited to play Skyrim DLC, and he hasn't even played one of them. No, yet. none of them has come out. Not one of them has made it to the... PS3. No. All I want to do is visit visit my favorite places in Skyrim, like, in Tamriel, like, such as Markarth. Markarth. There's some groovy people there. They know how to live in sin and get away with it. Uh, I mean, I want to go back to Winterhold. There's some things I'd still like to learn in college. I'd like to get my master's. Yeah. But how, how, what was the lyric uh, for, for your Arizona? Uh, I learned working in the thieves' guild. Yeah, <laughs> thank God for auto tune, right? 
<laughs> oh, my hands are always sweaty. I don't need to be playing. Now we have a new. That. Now we have another song that we sung in this one that can almost match up to the one that we uh, Zach sang yeah. in the previous one. Yeah, almost. Almost, not quite though. All right. So next week we got Black Ops Two. James, I'm super excited about it. It's my favorite game I've never played yet. Ugh, I said it better last time. Yeah. Never, ever, never played yet. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But uh, I mean, they haven't given it to us yet. Yeah, so Activision. We can't, uh, they're uh, uh, give it to me. We they sent us they sent us a package, and when we opened it, it was just a picture of a middle finger. Whoa, guys! This is so a can, family television show. Little do you know that just Mitch and I are just scanning those pictures and sending it to you specifically. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Activision. Don't James, tell open him. the box. Zach, stop breaking our What's in the box? What's in the box? It's another middle finger. <laughs> uh, so, when you, let's say you weren't playing Call of Duty for work. You didn't have to play through the campaign. You get a new Call of Duty game. What's the first thing you play? Do you go campaign? Do you go multiplayer? Or do you go zombies? Well, I'll tell you what. I, I play campaign all the way through because it's my least favorite part. Uh, I like them, don't get me wrong. But if I play multiplayer first or zombies first, then I'll never take a break and play single player. Mm -hmm. So I sit down and I play through the single player campaign, and then I do these other the other things. Uh, multiplayer and zombies, I don't really. I'll bounce between those, no problem. My favorite's obviously zombies because mm -hmm. I need to prepare yeah. for the inevitable mm -hmm. zombie apocalypse. Are you are you looking forward to the changes that uh, that we've heard about? You know, I can't really say that I even understand the changes. Mm -hmm. uh, I am so hard to disappoint that I'm sure I'll enjoy it. This is um, very true. Yeah, I, I'm sure I'll enjoy it. I, I am looking forward to being surprised because the things that I've seen in trailers don't make any sense to me. Yeah. I, I do think that the direction that they're going in Zombies probably makes a lot more sense once you play it than uh, what, what they... Than <laughs> looking at how yeah. they describe it in a trailer. Yeah. You're just like, like you're what a boss, you're... you're going around an open world. Uh, yeah, it's like four on four. It's weird. But yeah, that's uh, that's Black Ops. Um, next week also, Lord of the Rings, Legos. There's Lego Lord of the Rings next week. Mm -hmm. We also don't have that right now. These, these game companies are letting us down. Who, who does Lord of the Rings? Is that... EA? The, who no, does the Lego games? Uh, the Lego games is Telltale. Uh, not Telltale. Uh, Traveler's Tales. Traveler's Tales. That's right. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, Lego Batman 2 was one of the one of my favorite walkthroughs that we did. Uh, what was it? This year? Yeah, it wasn't that long ago. It was, yeah. I think, just before E3. Yeah. Uh, I hope that you'll be able to take... Are you okay there, Zach? I don't know. I hope that he'll be able to take a break from uh, from Black Ops every now and then to join me for some. We'll see. Call. I mean, I happen to be a big fan of the Legos games, and at the same time, a huge fan of the Lord of the Rings books. Yeah. I mean, uh, I don't know. I do know because we talked about it last time. I've read all those books. Lord, I've read The Hobbit three times, and the Lord of the Rings, all of them, from top to bottom, twice. Yeah, and uh, Zach, on, Zach, Zach here before Ark. Can was... we reenact it for everybody? <laughs> Zach before Ark. We did be bottom from top. Bottom to <laughs> top. It's we not bottom from top. We <laughs> worked from the bottom to the top. Now, this is where I got to like basically slam dunk my argument. I said, you take a book and you put it down on a table. The bottom of it is the end. So you would be reading the bottom. Now, if you're talking page, you're still talking about reading from the bottom of the page to the top of the page. That's wrong. Jesus is right. Yeah. Sorry. Rebuttal? Rebuttal? Uh, maybe halfway through, the top becomes the bottom. I don't know. It seems like a conundrum to me. No, halfway through. <laughs> what, what do you mean? What do you get halfway Because when you go book? halfway through, the top is now on the bottom. They're both on the bottom. <laughs> you know what? I can't. I can't. Uh, you can't argue that. That's logic. Uh, they're both on the bottom? Wash my hands of the whole affair. Okay. That hurt, actually. <laughs> yeah, I, I've never seen somebody so seriously clap like that. Or wash their hands. Have you seen somebody do that? <laughs> ah! I have clapped so hard before that I busted a blood vessel in my <laughs> finger. 
and and had it like swell up. Have you guys ever what, done that? What was the reason for your your? Applause? Believe it or not, I don't <laughs> I know if like there's something wrong with my hands. It actually happens to me a lot. It's just me, and I might have done it there. Um, I, I bruise really easily in the fingers. Well, what's great about what you just did is that, however much you hurt your hands, you probably hurt the ears of whoever's listening it just as much. I could definitely hurt their ears even more if I just clapped them <laughs> together. Like, <laughs> find me, I don't people. Even want to say what I was thinking? <laughs> okay, then we'll move on. So GTA Five news uh, is starting to surface again. Um, three main characters: James, Rich, and Zach. James, James Rich, and Zach. Uh, they go around uh, Los Angeles, including the Beverly Hills, West Hollywood area. Sounds like us. Shooting up cops. Sounds uh, like us. Listen, guys, <laughs> stop. I've already got people watching me because I've said a lot of things about police. Uh, I Fuck don't need to say anything about shooting cops. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, there's three main characters. Have you guys read any of the news about GTA 5? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It seems like there's going to be a lot of like heist action, and so you'll have three main characters that you control at Pretty much at the same time, you can switch between them with the press, uh, press the button. Like, you can have one person sniping, one person, like, you know, rappelling through a, uh, a building, and one person, you know, I guess going in through the front or something like that, doing something else. And what about like, the guy going in through the back? He's a backdoor man. Yeah. Sorry, go on. Oh, uh, no, I just, I just thought from that description, it sounded very interesting and, uh, the the idea of having these elaborate heists that you pull off with three people that you all control at once. It kind of reminds it me... It sounds really interesting. It, it does. It sounds interesting. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it reminds me of Rainbow Six, of being able to control... I don't know if Rainbow Six changed over the days, but when I first played, I guess, the first Rainbow Six, you would set up all your players on the different spots and then begin the, the thing, and everybody would go to their marked areas. Yeah. Is that did that seem like what it was? Uh, I it very does tactical? sound like it. Is it, it very tactical like it. or is it more action oriented? I think in in ex oh well, I I don't know much about that. I've, that's pretty much all I've heard about it. I think in execution it will probably be a lot less tactical and a lot less uh, you know s simulation, uh, you know breach, breaching and entering that kind of thing. Uh, it is. Breath of Auto, after all. Yeah. But I think it's an interesting idea, and I can't wait to see how they pull it off. Mm -hmm. Also, they say that the world of Grand Theft Auto V is going to be as big as Grand Theft Auto IVs, Red Dead Redemptions, and GTA San Andreas all combined. Which, to me, is just mind-blowing, because I can't imagine something that big without it being like an MMO. <laughs> I can imagine something that big. Nice, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Dick, yeah. dude. Dicks. 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 Wait a second. You high-fived after he said that. I guess it doesn't matter. But yeah, I can imagine stuff that big. Hey-oh. <laughs> hey yeah. uh, okay. Well, you, you say, when you say... You were talking about it earlier, and it almost sounded like you were complaining about. I I was kind of complaining about it because I think that's. Just... <laughs> yeah, I, I think knew that's you... too big. <laughs> that's what there is said. such a thing as being too big. I don't know. You I've guys. never heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that all the time from the girls that I lay on top of. Oh. Doesn't happen a lot, or ever. Oh. You'll never hear from them again. <laughs> I can't believe this is digressed into like. <laughs> Basically smart. <laughs> I can't believe this is actually turning out better than the last one we did. <laughs> it, if only it ends with a dance and song. Yeah. Um, um, one of my biggest problems with Red Dead Redemption, which is a game that everyone seems to universally love, I did not really like it that much. One of my biggest problems about it was it was the world was too big. It was too boring to get around. Um, and yeah, if, imagining something that size... And then having the world of San Andreas attached to it, and then on top of that, Grand Theft Auto Fours, Liberty City. Then imagine yourself in a jet and able to get from one side of that to the other side of that in a fraction of the time you could on a horse. horse. You know, or a donkey. Do. I'm assuming you were if, stuck in a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, if they do manage to do that, if they make traversing the world fun, then I will. I will get behind how big it is. Look, if you hold down the wire, like you skip while you're doing it. This you will get behind how big it is. Yes. Good for you, Mitch. Thank you. Reach around style. 
Yeah. Thank you. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, so finally, Grand well, do uh, you have anything else to say about yeah, it? Yeah, uh, I can't wait for it. That's it. Is your... I have... Uh, the Grand Theft Auto 4, I waited outside at midnight um, to purchase it on release. And I was every, to say you just waited outside your house at midnight. <laughs> uh, actually, the rest of that story I can't tell. Uh, but yeah, I, I got it on the night of release. Didn't get to play it. Threw up a lot. <laughs> That's uh, it. That's all I can say about that story. All right, finally, uh, we just wanted to reiterate, we haven't gotten any, uh, any entries for our WWE 13 contest. Uh, what? So what? They had an assignment. It's. I mean, it is kind of a a intensive project. You know, creating a character in WWE 13 takes a while. But we just wanted to reiterate. Um, if if I mean, this is a contest that can pretty much go throughout the end of time. If you make a creatable wrestler for us in WWE WWE 13, um, one of us three, we're gonna keep on going until we get all three of us, and then we'll make a match. Commentate on the match. And we'll send some cool prize packages to all the people who made uh, the WWE version of James, Zach, and Mitch. I think they just didn't have the, uh, the appropriate view. Actually, the, oh, on screen, good. I look pretty tough. <laughs> uh, yeah, in case you needed that for reference. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it. Um, anything you guys would like to add? Zach song and dance? No, no song and dance. No. One time only event? Yeah, they missed out. Uh, when's your hair going to go back to the right color? <laughs> That's something I'd like to ask. Because <laughs> it's uh, it looks too dark. It can take when's your months. hair going to go back to the right style? Yeah, the right length. Oh, man, I think it's, it's a little... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. It's hard. It's hard to see the back of my. I head. think people should leave their thoughts in the comments on what they think about your hair. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if anybody saw the video, but I put it up. It's probably longer than anybody wants to watch. But the guy that cut my hair, tatted it up, and I mentioned you to him. Uh, he was a detective, a cop, and it was the first time I got I got to know a cop and legitimately. Would didn't feel like that person was an evil human being. <laughs> you know what? Stop there. <laughs> He was a detective. That's probably why. It wasn't like he was a normal yeah. Yeah. patrol officer. And then when he retired, he decided instead of being a cold-hearted killer, which I believe is what most cops do at the end of their career, yeah. uh, he became a barber. Yeah. You either go the Max Payne route yeah. or you become a barber. <laughs> the yeah. uh, vigilante. Did he open up his own barbershop? No, he just works there, but he said that he always wanted to be a barber. and he, he I thought he did a good job. Uh, the problems I have with my hair now is because of me. Uh, I, I looked great when I left. And but, and your niece. And my niece. <laughs> yeah. Um, All right, guys. I'm rambling now. Well, thanks for watching this episode of the Gamefront Update. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe! Said it really quietly. Say it again. Subscribe. Thank you. Bye.